arrived at the courtroom in the green bus of the Nigerian prison service, all three accused persons. To the casual observer, however, there is no doubt that the majority of the crowd here have turned out to show support for the former chief security officer, Major Amza Al Mustafa. Amidst tight security, he's led into the courtroom of Justice Mojisha Ladada, greeting his supporters as he went. The supporters have defied the early morning downpour to be here, and the rains have chased most of them onto this corridor outside the small courtroom, which is already packed full with many more supporters and family members. Some carry placards. Others sing in anticipation of news of the freedom of the defendants standing trial on allegations of the murder of late Kudra Abiola back in 1996. The news from the court did not take long to come, and this is the reaction it elicited from the crowd here. When the first set of people, however, emerged from the courtroom, it became obvious that the reaction may have been hasty. This man and woman, said to be the son and wife of the former CSO, came out wearing long faces. And the news quickly spread that only the former head of the anti-riot squad in Asorok, CSP Rabulawal, had been freed. In its ruling, the court said there was no prima facie case made against him by the prosecution, the Lagos state government. The other accused persons, Major Amsa Mustafa and Latif Shofolaho, a former aide to late Chief Moshid Abiola, would have to open their defense and give explanations to some issues raised by the prosecution. These ruling effectively dash the hopes of the two men and those of their supporters here who have passionately followed this 13-year-old court case. To get to this stage, the three men were first arraigned before Justice Kudurat at Kekereko in 1999, along with Mohamed Abacha, the son of the late General Sonia Abacha, under whose tenure the late Kudurat was murdered. They were charged on a two-count charge of conspiracy to murder her and murder. They all pleaded not guilty. Mohamed Abacha was, however, freed by the Supreme Court in 2001 on the grounds that no prima facie case was made against him by the prosecution, which was then led by former Attorney General of Lagos, Professor Yemi Oshibajo. Justice Kekere Ekun was elevated to the Court of Appeal in 2004, and the case did not record much progress until 2008 when it was reassigned to Justice Mojisola Dada. After the prosecution made its case, the accused person submitted that no prima facie case was made against them. They therefore made a no-case submission asking the court to discharge and acquit them, a submission which necessitated this ruling, acquitting only one out of three. They left the same way they came, in the green boss of the Nigerian prison service, all three accused persons, one to perfect his release document, the other two to prepare for their trial. The disappointed supporters will have to wade through the floods back to their homes, but will no doubt be back on the 1st and 3rd of August, which has been fixed for trial. Shola Adeko, Channels Television. Time now for some business news on how to bring a 